Well, that was the same uh, argument that Randall uh, put forth. And I, I saw Randall and his kids, and I said, man, they're, you know, I mean, your kids are old enough now, you know, bring them, get back into it, you know, because yeah, he was so good with children. I ran into Randall at the Kroger, yeah. and he said he was going to try and get involved again, but, yeah. But yeah, um, I, yeah. I'm reminiscing about the days, like when we used to do the Schaefer Middle School, and we had oh, yeah. 15 yeah. scopes out there. Yeah. I can remember astronomy day at the... Uh, Moss Wright Park, we took over the whole hill with telescopes. Yeah. What's the teacher's name over there, Shaver? She's uh, still there. Uh, Lois Finney? Yeah, Lois mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, she's an honorary member. But they, they, they got that new principal and he wanted to disband all the clubs, you know. Yeah, there's, uh, or maybe it was when I was trying to convince them kids about why the days are longer in summer and shorter in winter. Mm -hmm. The little girl had the, she answered the question perfectly. She said, well, it's the way the earth is rotated on its axis, the way it's tilted. And I said, is that what you're teaching you kids? I says, it's a well-known fact of physics that heat expands things and cold contracts them. So in the summertime, the heat expands the days and makes them longer. <laughs> <laughs> and the teacher's in the back going, <laughs> but I just didn't appreciate your humor this time. Lord have mercy. Yeah. And the winter time, the cold contracts the day to make some shorter. <laughs> well, we had several members, a uh, couple of members of, at least, that got ill. And uh, We haven't seen so Mike Dickens since he lost his job. You know, I went to visit him once and his wife says, please get him involved again. Yeah. He's become a couch potato. We need, we need the Mike Dickens, yeah. number three Mike, Paul Mike, oh, yeah. Yeah, a real nice fellow. Oh, he has a lot of club uh, equipment and we need, to, we need to get that back. Oh, there was another thing I was going to talk about. Uh, I, know it, I know it's prohibitively expensive, potentially, but has the club ever considered contacting some of these little mini storages and see? I mean, you know, that way we get to have a central place to put the stuff. It may be prohibitively expensive, that's why I I think that's the general thing because I don't I don't know if anybody's done any serious looking, but it seemed like the figure that I've heard was like the you know, sixty bucks a month or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you're talking uh, seven hundred dollars a year, and that that eat up our budget in two years, you know. So uh, and we really we don't have a lot of big stuff. We got a lot of little things. We got you know like binoculars, uh, uh, eyepieces. Uh, now, I've got the solar scope. Anybody needs it, wants it, or whatever, just send, let me know. And, you know rendezvous and pick it up there. Um, but um, I don't know for sure. Uh, Misty was working on a list at one time because we lost track of a lot of the stuff. And she was going to work on a list to get it all together. And then she got her feathers ruffled and then, you know, seen her since. So. I don't know if we have anything of any consequential value per se, you know. A few eyepieces. Um, I think there was one or two loader scopes that were yeah, had, uh -huh. inexpensive ones, but with decent optics. Yeah. You know. but now like the high that, school still has the big scope, right? Yes. Yeah, it's in the observatory up there. Actually, right. there's it's actually been taken shed. down from the, oh, it well, it's still at the high school and it, is, uh, it gets used uh, occasionally for observing. Mm -hmm. As long as they're using it, well, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering if your programs were still in effect as you left. Um, they're still running an astronomy class. That's good. Yeah. I had both an astronomy class and an aviation class. And I think the aviation class is probably going to die, but they're still having the astronomy class. Yeah, you got to get the name of that flight sim that you used in that class. Do you remember the name of the flight sim? The, uh, we used X-Plane okay. and uh, had yoke yeah. and you had, you had the full gamut set up. Oh, yeah. It was a popular course. Yeah, because X-Plane is still around. They just come out with a newer version. Yeah. There was some guy that he sent an email to Dr. Ferris, and he had a bunch of stuff that he wanted to donate to a, uh, an educational uh, facility, but I didn't know of any that, uh, you know, that because we lost, you know, we lost Lloyd's at the, the junior high, you know, we lost you at the high school, and um, I don't know, uh, I don't think 
probably, I don't know how, what the uh, political deal is with the, where Dr. Ferris could, you know, take it here. Because uh, I, don't, I don't think there was a, any strings attached to it, but and I don't, haven't heard anything from this guy since, so I don't know. I talked with him, and oh. uh, <clears throat> he uh, just wanted to uh, be able to get a tax credit uh -huh. or a donation. So that's why he wanted to give it to uh, educational. an educational facility rather than to give it to CAS. Um, if you talk to him again, uh, quiz, quizzing about giving it, donating it to the Boy Scouts over at Boxwell, they uh, would like to have some scopes and stuff. Yeah, especially since we, uh, well, uh, I last last year I tried all the telescope makers I could find, and not a one of them was interested in helping. I mean, Celestra said we don't do that. Meade said, well, we've got there's several. Uh, third parties we work with that might be interested, and Optron said, "No, we don't do it either." So, and uh, I so, never heard back from Orion. So, yeah. so if, if you talk to him, I didn't know the gentleman, so I, that's why I, I didn't, you know, I forward, sent the email around to a few people. But uh, I went to uh, <clears throat> a meeting at the Civic Center where they were going to demonstrate, talk about electric cars. And he had a leaf, and his wife had a Prius, I think. And so they brought them, and that's how, that's the only uh, connection I had to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's this Saturday, after they're having that at the airport, um, it's you know. fly in. The mm -hmm. fly in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember it. It's on the 22nd. It's a club, an airport club. I'm an airport. Right, well, it's a pilot association. Yeah. And they're having they're having a fly in this weekend. Uh, yeah, the I'm experimental experimental aircraft. Um, I think these are mostly um, regular aircraft. Yeah. There might be some experimental. That I'm not sure. About I remember last year they had a um, Canadian jet out there, and yeah. they were flying patterns with a. Like one of the red bearing planes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they got to shut down the airport road here for about a month there to yeah. do some work on it. So, but I forgot what the start date. It seemed like it was June 28th, 28th I think. Yeah. But I think it's only like 10 days. Is it June 28th to July 10th or something? Somewhere like right that. Yeah. Well, you might have fixed the tracks faster than that. But <laughs> <laughs> I think it starts at nine o'clock on that. Might be. I thought you might be interested in that one for a bit. You're going to have to go out and have a problem. <laughs> Give me out of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember when we used to have, uh, like, Ralph Reed used to come and he'd bring some uh, Jersey Mike sandwiches when he'd come up to oh, the yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? And then we had that other guy who would bring pizza. He was, he was somehow tied up with Domino's here or something. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, Saturday night, start party and food. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> but I, I, I wonder if, if communication is part of the issue, you know. Well, I don't know. Ben was contacting some of the TV stations and stuff like that. And they were, you know, he said they were putting it out. Uh, so I, I think it's just people um, have, you know, a lot of extraneous family uh, But I mean, maybe we should make a push like what we do have the picnic this year. Yeah. yeah just keep keep telling people. Come yeah, and to, yeah. to, to send a personal invite to the yeah. email. Like, hey, this is a great time for you to catch up with friends you hadn't seen in a while. You know. So Al you? Alan is still as cute as a button and stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent him an email asking if he had disowned us there, but Far back, said no. He was <laughs> he was still considered us buddies. Yeah, and I still see him very active in uh, the Tennessee astronomy, you know, T N astronomy website. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, a lot of people think that we uh, sponsor them, but uh, uh, sit there and tell this one guy said, you know, it's mem our members, some of our members run that. We we're not, you know, per se. 
Yeah, I just tell people that's why the, they had to change the name of the Cumberland Science Museum because we were going to sue them. So they hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, even at the, the Christmas time that we, that we had yeah, together, had you know, there wasn't very many there either. And usually there's quite yeah, a few. We used to have 30 or 40 there. I guess the they wanted to uh, revive the white elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and we sure wanted to I be there, but that, that. That we had that little narrow window to move my mom in the morning side. Sure. So yeah. Yeah, that, that took up that whole day and night for us. Does she like yeah. it there? She does. That's good. I, think I went there before uh, we got uh, Jack's mother down, and uh, then we went over over Hancock. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about five minutes away from the house, you know. So when I looked out there, I think they're a little more expensive than the the one where she was. Well, I think Morningside is probably the most expensive thing out there, but you do get what you pay for. Yeah, that's know? true too. Mm -hmm. well, they did quite a bit with the, mm -hmm. where, you know, where Grandma Stewart was. I think we want to look at, uh, with, maybe with the jaundiced eye, if, uh, about a picnic, is that if we got a super hot day and stuff like that, as so happy as people are nowadays, well, we could get into some trouble once we just kept it members only. Um, oh, that, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, but, you know, oh, reaching okay. out personally to people like JD, oh, yeah, and to you know to um, Mike, to Mike Dickens, to Tom, to Randall, to Alan and Misty. You know, say, hey, look, you know, you've been away too long. And, well, let, let's have a welcoming home party. You know, see if we can uh, get the some uh, recirculation. Yeah. You know, the members. Yeah. But I think we, you know, need to let them know enough in advance. Sure. You know, it's too bad we don't have a newsletter. Yeah. Um, in about a year and a half, we will, because when I retire, that's what I plan on doing. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, he, he took a new job at HCA, and he's traveling so much, you know, because I asked him if he'd be willing to help out at Boxwell, but he says, gosh, I don't know when I have to have time, you know. Um, yeah, we would probably be better off doing a type of uh, potluck type thing. Because nobody likes my barbecue. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to try it. I don't like it. Uh, it came from Bucks. It was good. Yeah. It was good barbecue. Yeah. Well, it's just, you know, it was Bad easy, time, to, I guess. easy to pack. And I brought the pot. You're lucky if there's anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, I guess, yeah, it's out the... Saw the wall roaming the hall a while ago. I think he was looking to lock us, lock us up here. You got a pen, Jack? Can uh, I just yeah. sign a few more checks? Yeah. I've got two still in here. Oh, okay. There's the two. So we do two or so, two or three. Yeah. They're off the bottom. I'll, I'll take care of you to uh, Cancun and uh, Caribbean and the. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, actually, it's strictly professional. I, I, I've never been to Bunakai in, 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 in Hawaii, so I thought that uh, was at the club expense. <laughs> <laughs> or fact finding. Yes. Fact finding. See if they have any eyepieces they're not using. <laughs> you know, that's the other thing, though, Alan. I was reading articles about the uh, the drop in all astronomy clubs. Yeah. And I think a lot of it is because they're saying that a lot of people just don't do visual observing anymore. They can go on the internet now and control well, remote why? control telescopes. Oh, maybe it is the effect of Hubble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, now you, those, can, uh, you can you can go on a link and actually link to a telescope and use it. You know. So the, the I think the art of visual astronomy is is definitely suffering. It may be that the uh, the wonders of modern photography of astronomy are so overwhelming and what you see through a telescope is so underwhelming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the planets still look good. You know, oh, people, yeah. people who look at Saturn think they're looking at a picture. That's true. But unfortunately they, they see a galaxy with spiral arms or the Eagle Nebula. And then, can you get that in your telescope? Yeah. That don't look like the that, that, look, look that like looks like a little hazy oh. cotton ball. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the first time I got M81 and M82 in my telescope uh, at the house. I went in and told Don, I says, you 
we've got to come outside and look at the telescope. There are two galaxies. Scientists estimate 100 billion stars at each of these galaxies. And I've got it in one field of view. You've got to come see this. She puts her eye up and she says, the two hazy blotches? <laughs> yeah. I told her, I says, you know, it, it, imagine how you'd feel if you made me orange roughy or something for Father's Day. You know, you grilled it out or this choice steak. And I said, hey, babe, where's the ketchup? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that, that should take care of you. There's five of them there. Okay. That should take care of. Yeah, we'll probably year. last us a year. You know, uh, guy, yeah. Yes. Well, I can see the Grand Canyon. They drove up to the edge. She looked out the window. Okay, now what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That was one of the favorite places I went to when we went out west. Let's see. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and shut the broadcast down. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what went wrong, but at least we've got it recorded, and hopefully when I hit end broadcast, it'll save it to YouTube.